Well, I grew up as, you know, a, a beach grom. I was at the beach every day, skimboarding and surfing. I started surfing younger than I can remember. Then when I started windsurfing in 1974, it kind of just took me over and head me in a direction that fortunately has been a really good direction. My best memories are just the early days sailing in Kailua, trying to ride waves on the stock windsurfer with wooden booms and the giant board and rode a little wave. It was probably like a third of a meter high, but that the first glide on a windsurfer, that acceleration, that feeling that you get when you drop into a wave is something that you never forget. I think especially in Europe, windsurfing definitely had an impact on free sports, glee sports, fun sports, you know, there's all these different definitions and suddenly here was a group of sports including windsurfing that were less structured, more just see what happens, go for it. A lot of evolution in equipment and that evolution in equipment allowed all these evolutions and moves, you know, just doing crazy things and suddenly people were flying in the air and jumping off of mountains and you know, sliding down railings and it was a whole new world of sport that is now normal. You know, when windsurfing was taking over the world speed record and going back and forth and back and forth and the speed kept going faster and faster and faster. Just hooking into the harness and blasting millions of miles of an hour and, you know, flying in the air doing giant huge jumps and the helicopter tracking shots and it was, uh, and still is a pretty cool aspect of windsurfing. You can go really, really fast and it feels even faster. My whole life basically was built around windsurfing and it's evolved since then, you know, with the kite surfing. When that came around and we started making kites and exploring and you know, having new challenges on the water, off the water, development-wise. You know, for my career, it was fantastic, fun. Stand-up paddle surfing has added a lot. And now between those three sports, I'm on the water more than I deserve to be. You know, I always tried as much as possible to stay humble and to be positive and to promote these sports and the lifestyle that, that they have. They're so healthy for you. Just being on the water, being in the ocean, being out on a lake or a river, in the wind and, you know, in nature, it's cleansing, you know. Even for me who gets to do it all the time, I appreciate how good for me it is. So imagine some guy who's stuck in an office for eight hours or ten hours a day most of the time. For him to get out on the water and have that, you know, that passion that drives him every day, is awesome. So to be part of that and be maybe a bit of influence in somebody's life that helps them to get that into their life uh, is a good thing. Sometimes life gets pretty complex when you've got business side and family and you want to be a good dad and you want to be a good husband and you want to, you know, do a good job at work, but you still want to be good on the water. There's a lot of things pulling you in different directions and sometimes that's hard. It's just love of riding waves and love of being in the wind and being outside and a real appreciation for how good my life is and how lucky I am that keeps me going. I'm a happy guy. I'll be 50 next year and I want to be, you know, doing this as long as my body allows me to because in my mind I'm still, still charging.